Good morning, everyone. Happy Wednesday, January 3rd, 2024. Let's have a good morning. Bumblebee, morning fast. Morning, Krish. And we got some more red coming in. Yesterday there for a while, I thought the uh, markets were going to bounce, and then they, they did a little, and then they rolled back over in the afternoon and did have a little spike up at the end of the day. But it looks like our futures are below yesterday's low already, so at least for the S&P as well as the NASDAQ. Dow futures, not quite down to lows of yesterday. Morning, Disco. So, I we'll have to see what happens here today in terms of going continuously lower. Bouncing up out of the gates. <clears throat> Kind of guessing for some more down at side action, but never know. I mean, the way things finished in November and December, you had to figure there was going to be some type of pullback at some point. Everything was hitting all-time highs in terms of the indices. Hopefully we'll have a little more opportunity today than we did yesterday. <clears throat> yeah, it seems like uh, every time you think there's a pullback, it doesn't happen. And when you don't think of one, it does. It's like things are always the opposite of what you think are going to happen. Bell has rung. I had three winners yesterday out of four. My iron condors stra slash straddle deep zero DTE trades. Put one on in the morning while we were live streaming. Put one on after we got off and then um, got stopped out. Couldn't put one on and um, just tried to put one on over the lunchtime, but just premiums were so low, which was kind of surprising with everything being down. But then put on a couple straddles in power hour that were both winners. Let's see. Dow opening down 127. NASDAQ down 111. Dow was down over 300 yesterday. S&P down 24. Some of our weaker stocks. NVIDIA down one and two thirds. Square down three and a half. Riot blockchain down almost 10%. When Coinbase down 6%. AMD down a little under 2%. PayPal down a little under 2%. MU down one and a half. Walmart in the green. Amazon just went green. S&P 
futures push through lows of day or through pre-market lows. The Dow, though, firing up. NASDAQ coming through pre-market lows, down 130 or 123 now. And falling, VIX up 5%. Still, interestingly enough, it's under 14. It had got above 14 pre-market yesterday. And then it just kind of came down most of the day yesterday, even though everything was weak. It's weird. <laughs> Tesla falling. Yeah, Tesla's had a rough go at it the last week or so. Let's take a look at a daily chart of Tesla here. <laughs> You can kind of see here. Got up to about 265, and then it has the last four trading days, it's down about 25 points. Pretty sharp drop. VIX really spiking up now. Amazon pushing up. Wow, some of these stocks are really pushing up, even though the VIX is pushing up. A lot of green here on my first page. NASDAQ reversed. You can kind of see it pushed through pre-market lows and then popped right back up. So some interesting price movement today. <clears throat> wow, NVIDIA, NVIDIA really pushing up now. So NASDAQ down half a percent. Dow is down a little under half a percent. S&P down a little under half a percent. All right. Let's see what kind of volume we're going to be getting here. Wondering if it's just going to all roll over here in the next 10 or 15 minutes. Not seeing a lot of good volume here at the moment. Mm -hmm. 
Volume's looking kind of light. NASDAQ now is reversed, come back down. So is the S&P. Russell pushing lows of day. Man, I just don't see how this market's going to keep from coming down based on the futures. Not seeing really any volume runners that I like. Yeah, there's a lot of a lot of different different colored bars, that's for sure. So no volume runners out of the gates for me. All right, we'll, we'll wait. Morning Iron Condor. Zero DTE. So we'll just wait for maybe a mighty 90 here. I've seen a lot of potential stair stepping down in volume. DKNG trying to go through highs of day. Video through highs, Netflix through highs. Netflix getting big bar here, it kind of looks like. Do keep an eye on that one.
And uh, Netflix should get there. I'm looking at it in toss. Not quite as big, but still looks like it's going to get there. It is the strongest stock on the day that's on my board, up almost a percent now. NASDAQ has put together some green bars here. Uh, Netflix would be a volume runner if that bar gets bigger than the first year, which it looks like it will. Tesla coming down through lows of day. Ouch, Tesla. So Netflix, let's look for a pullback here. Today we're trading the um, two days to expiration option chain to DTE. And I would trade the 475 calls if I can get a pullback here in Netflix. Microsoft trying to get through highs of day. PKNG getting kind of a mighty 90. Sorry, pulled back though. Netflix. Four seventy five calls. Trying to get filled at three seventy. to 370 and Tesla's still falling I'm not sure what's going on with Tesla today square through highs of day You can definitely get a better fill than I did in Netflix. <laughs> Thought I was getting a pretty decent fill. I could have waited a little bit longer for this bar, but you know, you never know with these volume runners. Sometimes they take off and leave you right out of the gate, you know, when the new bar forms. And so it had pulled back a little, so I went ahead and jumped in. Yeah, you just never know, man. I mean, you know, how many times have we missed volume runners because right out of the the start of the new bar it takes off so it's that's why position sizing is so important you know and i, and I position size to add so if it was to come down even you know down to about right here i probably would add to it you know from this setup you're probably looking at you know potentially it could have come down to this pivot and then bounced See, maybe question might any questions wait 15 minutes, but I see that you count. Well, 15 minutes is the third bar. So you can't 
you can't have a mighty 90 till the third bar. So that is 15 minutes. Skywing, Skywing. So like DK and G. So wait 15 minutes, 5, 10, 15. So here's the 15 minute bar right here. So you're, you're, you can place your first mighty 90 trade based off this third bar. Which is the 15 minutes Steve's talking about in the course. I got an order at 410 to close half my Netflix. Just put that in there just, just in case. And S&P futures aren't really moving. Square pushing through highs of day. See, if you got a better fill at Netflix, you probably would already be out of half. <clears throat> Netflix kind of struggling to get through highs here. Let's see any other mighty 90 shaking right now. He almost switched. It almost went with the 472.5 calls, but I didn't. My question was, when you look for the two green bars, second, first, I see you did that. I'm trying to, trying to decipher your question here. My question was, when you look for the, for two green bars, second bigger than the first. Yeah, so second bigger than the first, I'm looking at, for that um, a volume runner. Are you asking about mighty 90s or volume runners? I'm confused. Okay, so Netflix was a volume runner, not a mighty 90. This bar right here, the third one is bigger than the first, which makes it a volume runner. If this bar would have been, if this bar would have been bigger than the second, but not as big as the first, then it's a mighty 90. Hopefully that makes sense. Netflix is not a mighty 90. It's a volume runner. It is, it has a, it has a bar. Well, I want to make sure I answer your question. So if a bar is bigger than the first, it has nothing to do with a mighty 90. Like you, you can just cancel out mighty nineties. If this bar gets bigger than the first, you're not even thinking mighty 90. Mighty 90 happens when you see what we have in DK and G right here. Or potentially Baidu where there's a bar that's the same and bigger than the previous, but not as big as the first. Baba, see, it's getting an upside volume runner because this bar is bigger than the first. 
And Baidu's, it may grow bigger than the first by the time this five minutes is up. Who knows? All right, let's see what we got here. Um, Baba pushing up. So if Baba pulls back some, it could be a potential an entry. NVIDIA kind of shaping up to be a continuation runner, pushing up, pausing. Futures doing it. Futures really aren't doing much. So Netflix, like you with this volume runner, I want it to push now. I don't want it to just sit there and pause. Check Baba and toss. <laughs> yeah, it's a big volume bar and toss too. No pullback though in Baba. Man, I would think futures would start pushing up here if these other stocks are pushing. Tesla coming through lows of day. Yeah, yeah, I saw Baba. Monster bar. I looked at it and think or swim too. Although the range is pretty tight. That's the thing. Look at this range. 74.7. That's like 0.5, half a point. And Tesla falling. Netflix holding on here. Man, but it's have not been filled on half yet. Yeah. So this this is a mighty 90 in Baidu right here. Nice looking mighty 90. Again, it's a pretty tight range, though. That's something I always double check. Check how tight the range is before I jump in. So DKNG had this mighty 90, and now it's producing its second red bar. So that would have been a winner if somebody took that mighty. DKNG mighty 90 I mentioned. Man, Tesla. Tesla's either exploding to the upside or falling. Need Netflix to push through highs here because that's what you want to see out of a volume runner. If it can't get through highs, I'm just going to cut it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, <clears throat> volume runners, I've talked about this in the past. Um, but if you're new, you know, you, you want them to pull back and then go. Like you don't want them to pull back and slowly decline or just sit there.
Yeah, it's not really what you want out of a volume runner. And Roblox had a big volume bar too, but Yeah, Bob is definitely an option. I'm gonna see how see if he'll pull back a little bit more. It's because it's such a tight range. Yeah, it didn't, didn't come down anymore, that's for sure. Not yet. <laughs> One thing about Netflix, though, I'm still going to hold it because it's also kind of setting up to be upside continuation now that it's It's been just kind of been pausing here. I mean, if I got a better fill, I would be at half half of my Netflix. Not much volume in a lot of these, though. You know, you look at Amazon and Apple, Microsoft. Volume is pretty, pretty low. Netflix is kind of shaping up now to be a mighty 90 short. See what it does here. Give us, give us a good push through highs here. Build at four ten. Patience paid off. I'm going to close another one here. Build at 450 to close another Netflix. Baba pushed up a little, but it would have been nice to get in down there, but I wanted to pull back a little bit more. NVIDIA coming down. What's Futures doing? Man, futures really spiked up, and then look at that. And then just came straight back down. Some weird stuff going on. Oh, yeah, the Jolts report. Came out here. So the jobs report uh, gave a scenario. They just said on the business channel I have next to me that it's more likely based on the jobs report, the Fed will cut 
interest rates in the future. That was the gist of what I got out of that. Yeah, darn it. Should have probably got into Baba. Should have, would have, could have. Amazon, I mean, it's just a decent push up out of the gates and just hasn't gone anywhere. <clears throat> I think I'm going to put an exit uh, based on it, it being pretty strong at five bucks. That would definitely be higher. Uh, roughly 40, 40 cents is 10%. So that's so why I got out 410 and 450, but we we'll go a little higher here. Five bucks. So probably had one other opportunity here, Baba, to get in. We didn't, or I didn't. So again, you don't always have to do what I do. Definitely do if you select, if you see a setup here and you like it, go for it. Yeah, I got out of half of my iron condor. Yeah, Baba just it didn't. It didn't pull back. And I'd been kicking myself if it if I would have got in about this pivot where and then it came down more. I'd have been kicking myself for not waiting. Uh DK and G a little mighty 90 long here. I don't even know what DK and G's. Yeah, it's too cheap. Once again, though, it's been minimal, minimal opportunities here in terms of volume. That Netflix actually got about as big as the first there again. Tesla, though, it's not liking anything. So Netflix taking kind of a pause here. I was real close to getting out at uh, I was real close to getting out five bucks, about a nickel away. So that was kind of a bummer. And now Netflix is falling. Not much red out of Baba and Baidu. Or MU.
Yeah, I think I'm going to get short Tesla here. A little downside continuation. With the 240 puts. Build at 465. You definitely could get a better fill than me. All right, so Netflix coming down. That's ah, dang it. Still some quirky stuff going on in the new year. Closing Netflix. Go to 350. Man, so gave some back there. It's definitely not what you see, what you want a volume runner to do, what it's doing. So Tesla pushed down, little bounce, pushed down, little bounce. Looking for it to continue to fall. Man, just low volume, seeing low volume. I got an order in to get out of half my Tesla at 510. Build at 510. Close half of Tesla. And futures coming down. So futures looks like it might be pushing lows. We have another Tesla here. Build at 570. So good, good decision to get short Tesla there where things were pushing up and it was not. I think kind of a good out in Tesla there or Netflix there. I've got two Teslas left.
Yep, sure did. I already got a half. I think I mentioned, I maybe you got in here late. I mentioned I just got filled on half. I posted it in the live, the zero DTE live chat. So sold one for 830 and got out of half already at uh, 640. What was perceived as good news with the jobs report, you would think things would go up, but instead they come down. Um, I mean, <clears throat> I kind of look at price movement. <clears throat> when it looks like price movement is kind of settled, that's when I answer my very first one. I mean, there's no, no tricks to it. There's no, you know, sometimes I think people overanalyze. I think it's great to have back tests and all that. But, you know, I started paper trading this way. And for two months, I was extremely profitable. So then I started trading real money and have been ridiculously profitable. And so I haven't really made any change. Um, I look at like premiums too. So I'll look at like, okay, like here, here's, here's, I, I don't do anything if it's under five bucks. Um, today I tightened it up a little bit. I went about the 27 deltas instead of the 20 to get a um, better, you know, to get a uh, better premium in terms of, you know, instead of getting a 550 credit, I got an 830. <clears throat> and uh, so then during the day, I'll, I'll kind of take a peek at the range that the s and is moving. And if I have good premium at midday, I'll put one on. And at power hour, I usually only do two max. And again, I'm kind of looking at what's, What's the range of, in terms of my, how wide my strikes are? What's, what's the range of where it's moved today? No, I mean, I, 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 I don't do any filters really. Uh, my stops are in the morning for like this one, 75% of my credit. Um, and then, so I got filled at 640. So then 75% of that. Power hour, I start out no matter what the credit is um, with a stop of plus four. And then if I get filled, let's say I got filled at like 320, well, my next stop will be 320. Let's say I get fill, filled another contract at uh, 230, well, my next, my next um, stop is 230 plus 230. I'm doing booking the profits like that, yes. But Steve kind of talked about in the Iron Condor video course to get out at 20%. Like his first, I mean, that's kind of the way I. Yeah, I mean, there's. Sometimes I think we can just outthink ourselves. Oh, you dropped at 20% a long time ago. Huh? And in the morning when I put one on, here's another thing. I'll also... If it gets off center, I may put then I, I might center another one. So for example, 
Okay, so this is my this is this is my one right now. Move it over here. So it's getting a little off center now, even though I've closed out half. So if it comes over a little bit more here, then I'll center a new one. So I only usually put on about two in the morning. Um, I'm usually, if I can, I'll put one on at lunchtime and then max two at the end of the day. So really the max I'm putting on in a day is five, really. But most of the time it's more like three or four. And look at DK and G falling. <laughs> So Tesla pushed through this pivot. Now it's kind of popping up. I guess it did have a little mighty 90 long there. Let's see that. Well, this, this bar to me was as big as the first. So that's why I didn't get short. That's I got out of that volume runner when this started coming down like that. Other than that, though, there hasn't been a ton of opportunities. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna. I only got two Teslas left, so I'm gonna wait and see what it does here. It's got this pattern of pushing down and then trying to pop up and then continue to get rejected. Nasdaq down 150. Dow now down 250. Wow, the Dow really reversed. Roku pushed through lows of day. Let's see. Dark Avengers had no ratios. Uh, I haven't got. I haven't gotten into the ratios yet. I know Steve does ratios. Yeah. Okay. Gotcha. So, so I just added a zero DTE iron condor. So I centered one. 
So let me post that in the... And I got a credit of $7 on it. Okay, so Tesla, I want it to come back down below this pivot or I'm going to bail on it. Because it could be bounce time. I don't know. I definitely gave some back on Netflix. I don't want to give any back on Tesla, man. I mean, you figure Tesla's going to bounce at some point. Yeah, just once again, <clears throat> I haven't gotten too many opportunities. Even Baba, you know, I'm kind of glad I missed this Baba, really. And I'm real close to bailing on Tesla just because I don't want to give any back. I just want to book profits. Trying to just watch it, but see what it does here. Yeah, it could bounce. A point or so, and then roll back over and flush through those a day, too. I'm going to go ahead and cut it. Filled at 530. So gave some back, didn't give a ton back. Not as much as I gave back for Netflix. Yeah, this Baba upside volume runner I, that we didn't get in. I'm glad I didn't get in it, you know, based on how it looked here. It, it went up a little bit, but it went up about point, point 0.4 points. I mean, on this pullback, it was like 75.1 and it went up to about 75.6. So if you're new, that's why sometimes I don't get into some trades is if that. It's so tight, that range. Man, if there'd be anything I would do now, it'd be a downside continuation runner, probably. And MU's really kept itself from going lower. That's, and Amazon as well. I mean, Amazon has resisted this drop by many. So, no, well, don't think I'm going to take any more of these trades. Um, just not. Not seeing the setup, so only two trades again today. So I guess we're just slowly easing into 2024. So oh, let's take a look at the live stream here. So you'll get Steve tomorrow, Friday, and Monday. 
So I will definitely be in there listening to his sweet, calming voice. And I'll see everybody back here Tuesday. Catch you later. Peace.